Hey y'all, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to move rows, cells, and columns on Microsoft Excel as of January, 2022 on a MacBook. And I'm actually working on my January books until I stumbled upon not being able to shift certain rows until I figured it out and I decided to record how I did it before I moved forward. So let's say here on the O column here, and yes, I did type in some gibberish so that there's more wording here for you guys to see. I'm going to left click the O column and I'm going to hold the command button down, move my mouse until I see the hand and that's the trick. You have to make sure that you see the hand. I know in other tutorials that there's a cursor that shows and they have to use a shift button, but apparently there's been some type of update. So long as you see the hand. And once you see the hand, left click and hold, and then you're able to move your columns around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release it here in the Q column by releasing the command button and the left button on my mouse together. And there you have it. It's been shifted over and I'm going to reverse that same goes for the rows. If I want to move this 25th row up to the 24th row, I'm going to left click, hold the command button down, move my mouse until I see the hand, hold and move it up. And you see the rows move. And I'm going to release it the same way I did by releasing the command button as well as the left button on my mouse. I'm using a Bluetooth mouse, but you can do the same process works for your mouse pad. And I'm just going to bring that back down and I'm going to show you guys how to move a bulk together. So let's say I want to move all this information together as a whole. I'm going to highlight this information here and then I'm going to hold the command button down move my mouse until I see the hand whether it be up down or on the side doesn't matter so long as the hand shows and so I'm going to left click when I see the hand hold and move these together and I want to release it here and I'm going to go ahead and release it by removing by releasing the command and left button on my mouse at the same time there you go and i'm going to reverse that and now how to move an individual cell so let's say i want to move everything in this cell right here over to right underneath the client name so i'm going to just left click this cell hold the command button, move my mouse until I see the hand, left click and move the cell over. As you see here, I can put it anywhere I want. I'm gonna leave it here and I'm going to release. There you have it. And the same can be done if I want to move two cells together. Just make sure you highlight, hold the command button move your mouse till you see the hand, left click and hold, and then move it and release. And there you have it. I'm gonna reverse those. And that is how to move your rows, columns, and individual cells on Microsoft Excel on a MacBook.